Staya and I want to welcome you to my channel. Um, I go by the name of Staya's by Naya on Instagram. So just so you can know about me, I am a 17 year old entrepreneur. I do hair here in my own home. Um, so basically I'm making this YouTube with you all to share my journey with you of me growing into a beautiful, young and educated business owner. So I want to start off with telling you all like about myself and then going into my business thing or my, my motive for this channel. So like I said, I'm 17 years old. I live in Chicago. Um, I am a senior in high school, so I graduate in June pretty soon. Um, I like doing hair like a lot. Like that is my passion. I could do this all day, every day. People ask me how you do it. And it's like, I do it because I love to do it. It's when you love doing something, you're going to do it all the time with no hesitation or no, like, you know, just no bad energy to, towards it. So basically my motive for this channel is to um promote my business and to promote my products because I am going to be making hair products along the way. Um, my reason for making this YouTube was so that you all could like be on my journey because we're all not perfect. This here is not going to be a perfect YouTube. Like I'm going to do everything so perfect. No, this is just going to be like, you're going to see my mistakes. You're going to see my successes. You're going to see everything. And this is just here for you all to um, learn from me and for me. All okay. Um, this YouTube is not always going to, this YouTube is mainly going to be about here because that's what I really invested into, but it's not going to always be that. Like I said, I want to be doing nails and everything. I have done my nail, nails a couple times, like doing acrylics and everything. But this is going to be like me with my child and era. And just getting into the cosmetology field. Um, So, let's get into my hair journey. So, I've been doing hair for as long as I can remember. Maybe like three or four. So, this all started from my mom. She's a big help in this. Help me find my passion without even trying to. So, like, my mom is a very successful woman to this day, but not from here. So, like, when we were, I was younger, my mom was younger, she would do hair around the neighborhood. She was known to be doing hair. And she would always have, like, well, she would sometimes have somebody, like, in our apartment. She'll be doing their hair. And I'll be in the room with her, just watching her do hair. And, you know, every kid is going to be like, oh, my God, I want to be like my mommy. I want to be like my daddy or whatever. So, they sit and just be under them that's how i was on my mom and i just remember this like one time i really remember like i i had this little barbie doll it wasn't like a real mannequin hair, but it was like a little barbie doll and i was just like taking her doing her hair like come on like <laughs> i was doing her hair and eventually like my mom like noticed i would keep doing it so it was like oh this is what you want to do you want to do here so i asked for a mannequin head so i got the little breast down mannequin head you know those little things why so she really seen I was serious about it. And then one time I asked my grandpa, like, for Christmas, like, I want a mannequin head. And he bought me one. And I asked him, like, twice, I believe. So now I have two. That was that. So I've been doing hair, like, since I was little. I have been doing other people's hair, but I have been practicing my baby dolls. Uh, I didn't start doing my own hair until, like, the end of my eighth grade year. So it was just, like, I might as well. I will do my auntie hair a couple times, like curl her hair with the wrong curls, do my mama hair, just like little stuff. Um, yeah, so freshman year I was doing my hair, like, but I was doing like a lot of braids. So that's how I was really getting into braids for real. Cause all, all I've been wearing my whole life was box braids. Like if you look at my throwbacks, you'll just be like, hey, you always had in box braids. And I'm, that's just what I, it was a go-to style. So box braids is what I've been like, you know, kind of been trying to master it. I'm not a master at it, but I am good at it. That is, that was my specialty. Um, but it's my specialty. So yeah, I didn't start taking clients until like, maybe like the end of freshman year. It was like little, a couple people here and there like, can you do my hair? And then, like, maybe, like, the beginning of sophomore year, that's when people started noticing I was serious about this hair business. And that's when I started to really get clientele. And then, by that time, that's when I made my Instagram page. Because Facebook, I really don't like advertising there. I do, but I don't really like... I'm not going to get into that. But I really like on, being on Instagram. It's just easier for me to navigate, especially since having it as a business profile and finding my clients. 
I love being on there. And I love you all who support me and follow me. Um, so that's what I did. Made the Instagram. Got my little followers. Got the people around school knowing about me. And it was just great. So then it started booming like the end of junior year. Like this was like clients was coming in, especially this summer that has passed. Like, oh, especially for back to school. I was like getting them clients, getting them clients, getting them clients. I am now to this day in senior year. It's January and I've been doing great. But like I could sometimes get tired. So sometimes I do take my breaks. You know, we all are humans. So I just want everybody to know like whatever it is you do, if you do hair, if you design clothes or anything make sure you take your breaks and have your self-care days that's very important um also like i kind of did start getting bored with hair it was a time i was just like okay i do hair i love doing hair but it's like is that all i'm gonna do is that all i'm gonna get my money from i always say i'm gonna make a product i'm gonna make a product i'm gonna make this i'm gonna make that make this type of comb i make this type of brush but it's like i don't have the funds to be doing that so i'm like let's start with something smaller i'm like oh i'm gonna do edge control I'm like, oh, that's just too much. So now I am working on. I'm just gonna tell you all first. I'm making a, I'm making a hair oil, a hair growth serum. So this is like great to make. I'm like, that is a good idea because who don't want to buy oil to make their hair grow? If I do the research and invest into it, um, I'm, I'm as I'm doing now, it's gonna be great, and I can't wait. Like this is like what I've been working on, and I can't wait to launch it with y'all. But yeah. I just want to make it far. That's my goal. I don't just do hair. Like I said, doing hair is my passion. I don't just do hair for me or for the money. I do it for everybody else. Like I enjoy, like I generally from the bottom of my heart, I enjoy like seeing my clients get up out that chair, look in my mirror and have this aesthetic, like look on their face like, oh my God, thank you. Like I love it. And I like, I hear it so often. And it's just like, thank you for giving me this opportunity to like make you a better you like make you have this better version of yourself because believe it or not we may sometimes feel down or not feel like ourselves when our hair isn't done so you know or we don't got no cute outfit on our makeup done or whatever so it's like get your hair done your hair make everything so i just love seeing the look of people's face i just do it for everyone else hopefully if i make it big or when i make it big with my business and my products i'm going to get back to my community for sure but i really don't want to be here in chicago i want to be in atlanta i love atlanta it's probably like another chicago to me personally and i want to expand my business out there because i know it's a lot of opportunities there as well but i definitely will get back to my community i will not forget about where i came from that won't happen at all just remember to always remember where you come from be humble and that's what i'm going to remember um but that's pretty much the sum up um that's what we're gonna do on this youtube i may not have mentioned everything but we'll be doing this along the way if you stay with me um but just i know that some people be watching like families and friends and like supporters i just want to thank all of you for doing this like just help me give me that push like you got this one you got this i hope you all support and subscribe please 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 subscribe i will have great content on here especially when i have enough money to get like um the more more funds to do like have a better setup and everything but we will be doing a lot of authentic things in here like you may get to see me making my product or get to see me making a wig or see me doing someone's hair. I have recorded myself doing people's hair. So you might just be able to see that. I might upload some old videos. So just be on the lookout for that. I do want to be active on here though. I want to also use YouTube to broadcast myself and my brand. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. And I hope to see you. <laughs> well to see these views go up and be on my other videos. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and follow me at Styles by Naya on Instagram. I will drop the link below in the comments. Thank you.